Hello everybody and welcome back to Anne Holliver. Today we are unboxing a little package that should contain a colony. A colony that isn't here from Europe. So this package right here has actually been sent by one of you guys and one of you guys being a girl and the girl being Nino Toto. Still don't think that's how we pronounce it, but that's how we're gonna pronounce it in this video. So we're gonna unbox it. So just like in every single unboxing video on this channel, I had struggle opening the box. So I couldn't really find the correct way into the package, but I think we have a way right here. So I'm just gonna... Open this right here and we are left out. So hopefully I have the ants inside of this mess. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in. So the colony that I just unboxed is a, two seconds, Campanotus floridanus, 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 Campanotus floridus, that's what we're gonna call it. And it isn't here from Europe because it's an exotic species, but I'll tell a little bit about that in a minute. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Nino Tutu for providing me with this colony. It is the first exotic colony that I own, hopefully not the last, but at the moment it is the first. So this right here is the first look of the queen and she's just so beautiful to look at. She is, I don't know, it, she's just so red-ish. It's pretty much the same color as the Campanotus Herculinus, but it just isn't in any way. It's just a totally different color. As you can see, there are three workers and a little bit of brood and three cocoons that are ready to hatch. So hopefully they all hatch within not too long. So the thing that's very special about this colony is that it is not here from Europe. It is from America and therefore it requires a lot of heat. They live in around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So it will be quite a different thing to kind of heat this colony up. So the queen was very quiet and I thought that may be a sign of stress. So I decided not to record the colony anymore today. So it is a new day and as you can see the queen is much more alive. I was a little bit scared yesterday because she was just so quiet. But it seems like all three workers and the queen have kind of gotten the time they needed to be a little bit more energetic. So over the night I connected a clean test tube and heated the clean test tube up to see if they wanted to move into the clean test tube. But they haven't so I guess they'll just stay in this dirty test tube for a little longer. So with the colony being a little bit more settled down today than yesterday, I decided that I would give them the first sugar. So I wanted to give them some honey just to see how they reacted. If we remember the Campanotus Herculinus, they went completely crazy and just didn't want to taste it. But this ant, these, these ants are just so shaky, but interested. They are known to be very aggressive and I can really feel it when I'm looking at them. They are very aggressive, very quick to run all over the place to kind of show them their strength. And within just so short of time, two workers were immediately eating the honey. The queen she had kind of pulled back and were just protecting the brood. Or maybe too scared to go any other way. But the workers were enjoying the honey very quickly. These workers are shaking a lot and I don't quite know why. I find it very weird. I don't know if it's some kind of stress thing because they have just been moved to, uh, over the last couple of days and it has something to do with that. Or maybe they just shake a lot. I'm not quite sure, but I would imagine that is a stress thing and it should hopefully disappear within the next weeks. I don't know. If you know anything about a shaky workers, please write them in the comments. 
So this right here is the first time one of the workers returns to Queen. And you can just see the workers just running around spreading his happy smell. And you can really see the Queen a bit scared. But you can see that she senses that there's something good going on. Now she's really feeling around with her antennae. So the Queen couldn't handle her excitement and wanted to walk a little bit over and see what was going on. But it was clearly a bit too scary, this tinfoil. Yeah, a bit too scary. In the background you can see the third worker. And what I find very funny is that this third worker isn't doing anything. I know it's a newly enclosed worker and therefore shouldn't do that much. But yesterday it was kind of walking around a bit scared. But today she's just holding back. But the ants really like their hunting. I was just so surprised to see the colony. I, I don't know, it's just, it's different every time you observe a new colony. And this colony is just, looks a lot like a Campanotus Herculinus. I know, I know it doesn't look, but, but if you look at the color, it does quite a lot. But they're just not the same at all. So since this colony is from America, it doesn't have to hibernate. And therefore I can actually update you on the colony all year around. It should be a pretty fast growing colony compared to its size. So hopefully the workers and the larvae and the eggs that are right now survive and hopefully they hatch into new workers within a couple of weeks. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm so, I'm so excited to have this colony right here just because it's a exotic species and you can watch them all year round without really destroying anything for them. I wanted to take a little time lapse because who don't doesn't like a time lapse? And you can see the workers are going back and forward a little bit of trafalaxis, but not too much. When I initially got the Campanotus herculinus, they were doing trafalaxis all the time, but they are different species. So I just find it quite funny to compare the two colonies. So skipping a few hours into the future and letting the colony eat its honey, I decided that, you know, I'm gonna give them some protein instead. But firstly, I want to get this cool shot of the colony. Out with the honey and in with a superworm or a chopped superworm. And of course, the workers were immediately overlooking. They are just so aggressive. I already know now that I have to get them out with very soon because they're just very aggressive to feeding in the test tube. And I know within not too long they will try to escape. But just like the Campanotus Herculinus colony, they were very scared of the protein, of course. Understandable. But what I found very funny is this time the queen was just walking over immediately. And the worker was actually walking on top of the superworm, but just kind of don't really recognize it and just kind of walks away. And I don't know, for some reason they don't eat the superworm, they just walk around it. But I guess it is to check if there's something dangerous or whatever it is. But I found it very weird that this time the queen wants to go over there. I don't know if it's because she's hungry or maybe she can feel that this is a real threat and she has to help. But the queen was very close to the meat all the time. But for some reason they just didn't go all the way over and eat it, just kind of looked at it. But the queen might, no, no, she retrieves once again. <laughs> just, it was so weird because one of the workers found a little bit of juice on the glass, but they just didn't want to eat the superworm. I find it very weird. <laughs> but of course I stayed looking and within not too long the queen returned once again and opened her mandibles and took a bite. She bit the superworm and then retrieved. I don't know, she's kind of, it looks like she has, she has something in her mouth since she's kind of grabbing her head on the test tube. The queen seems even more interested now and she goes over and takes another bite. A little bit of string is hanging on. Ah, she cut it. 
uh, it got loose. The very weird. She, she, I don't know how to commentate on this. She's just staring at it now. Not really attacking. Maybe she's just tasting it after she bit it. She just takes another bite. I don't know. I was so shocked to see this happening because the workers they didn't care at all. I mean, the one worker's just under the tinfoil, and the two other workers are just back with the brood, and the queen's just eating. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's just so weird observing this. Normally, it would be the workers that would eat, and the queen that would stay back, like with the honey. But she's just straight up taking another bite. And now she's walk walking on top of it. Oh, and she fell down. Oh, oh, okay, I'm not quite sure what she's doing. But I guess she's trying to find out if it's any dangerous or what it is. But once again, I'm just left here wondering, why aren't the workers eating? I mean, it's just the queen. She took a few bites. Another worker is standing on top right now. It's just not the same experience observing this ant currently at all. The queen didn't move a bit when I tried to move them overnight. I was in and looking at them a few times, but they were just all back with the brood. And look at this once again, she's kind of taking her head around the glass, like she has something in her mouth or something. I, I, I don't know if it's me who's observing it wrong or what it is, but it looks very weird to me. Something that I also noticed while watching them is after she attacks, she kind of stays very low, almost like she's crawling instead of walking. I find it very weird. But I mean, it's just... It's such a funny colony to observe. And I can't wait to see them grow all over winter, hopefully. And I really, I really hope that this colony grows well. So finally, after around 7 minutes after I initially put the food inside, a worker finally decided to start eating. The super worm. We had that one worker that kept licking the glass, slash she is still doing now. But finally we had another worker that was actually eating the super worm that I gave them. So yeah guys, once again a massive thank you for the colony Nino Tudo. Uh, this video wouldn't exist without the colony. And to all the other guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this colony as much as I did. Really weird observing it and hopefully it'll grow fast and explode in numbers, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah guys, if you have any tips on this colony, maybe you have one of your own or something, leave them in the comments. We can never get too many tips and tricks here on the channel. But yeah guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.